team, we are back with another short video of explaining something fun in this game, Logic Gates. Um, this is of course Odd Sparks, the automation adventure. An automation adventure? You know, one of those. Anyways, so uh, as I showed you at the end of my first long video, I added this guy here so that um, he would unload the train, the hauler would unload the train and drop in files over here and if there's too many he would dump them in there. Now this uh, blocker is activated by this guy seeing. What happened was, and I, I kind of simulated it here, uh, you know what, I can do it right now. So he's blocked. Um, I think I accidentally deleted it when I was figuring out what was wrong here. But yeah. As you can see, this would be blocked. And then once I add this back in, he's free to go. But what happened was. Oop. Oop. <laughs> I think I got a timer right. Hi oh! Alright, so that's what happened. And that's a problem. So, uh, OddSpark developers created a way that you can use these logic gates and logic inputs to solve problems of this nature. One of the things I found that was cool was um, that we had our motion sensor, capacity sensor, and pressure sensor. And when I first saw these I had no idea why, why they would give this to us, the developers, and not tell us you know, explicitly a scenario. But that's part of the fun of these games is figuring out, hey, I have a problem. Is there any, like, what kind of tools can I use to solve it? That's the creativity of it all. So, I was thinking that if I, if I say this problem out loud, then a, a solution becomes a bit clearer. I want this gate to be activated so that he can't throw away vials if it's under 96%. But once it's over 96%, let this go down. I don't want him to get stuck here. So I want it to be activated when it's over 96, but not when he's staying there. And there's something here called a not gate. So I want to uh, I want to position this so that oop, I got to add the pressure plate first. Pressure plate will tell us if he's stuck back there. You see how it lights up when he sits on it. So I want a not gate to uh, say I don't want him, or I don't want this activated when he's there. So not when he's sitting there. Uh, I like to make sure that the prongs are pointing towards the outlet and vice versa. So what we're going to do here is wire this gate there and there. So now the pressure plate is sent to this. Uh, not switch. So as you can see, he's not on it right now, so it's active. And now he's on it. Oh, now he's not on it, so it's active. So I want it to be when this is under 96% and when he's not on it. I want this to be up. So I need a AND gate, which is perfect for the conditions we just said out loud. And I'm going to wire this up so that... I see. Okay, so at first I need to remove this wire. And now I want to put... Did I point this right way? Yes. Yes. That's our AND gate. Um, did I point this the right way? I think I did. <laughs> right, that'll work. Okay, so I can put that right there. You don't ever want to cross your wires. I also get a Ghostbusters issue. Bingo. So that should solve both problems. Let's take a look. Ah, but what if he was stuck back there? Hey, look at that. Now we can go free. 
So this logic gate worked out. Once again, the condition is met that I want this blocker only up if he is not standing on this pressure plate and and gate right here. Our capacity sensor sees that this is under 96%. So that solves that problem. I have another problem down here, which I may or may not make a video for. It's just we're bottlenecking with this. There should be another uh, furnace right here making vials. Otherwise, he's kind of stuck and not sure what to do. 